Hi guys, welcome to NKT Studios. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use version control in IntelliJ. We are going to be creating a simple Java application and then wire up the version control. To kick off, just open your IntelliJ, create a new project, which is Java. So make sure Java is selected there. Just click on next. And then we're going to create it from a template. So select that one, and then it's going to be just a simple command line app. Click next, and then we have to give it the title. We are going to name it version control demo. And then after you give it the name, you can click on finish. We just chose this window and then it opens there. There you have it. We've got a simple Java application. It's just a empty main method where we can write our code and then do the stuff that we want. Once the application is ready, we now want to enable version control. To do that, you go to VCS on the menu bar and then click on enable version control. So this is like initializing the repository for us. So when you click there to ask you for the version control system that you want to associate with the project. So for the purposes of our video, we're going to be using Git. So if you click on the drop down, you will see Git or Mercurial. We're going to choose Git and then we're going to click on OK. So now it's like we've run Git init on the command line. As you can see there, there's a confirmation of what has just happened. To get a full picture of what has happened, we need to view the version control tab. To do that, navigate to the bottom left corner and hover your mouse over the icon there, then select version control. This will pop up the version control tab. As you can see, we've got local changes and unversioned files as well as console. So the ID has created a new file when we went to console and Git is asking us if you want to add that file to the repository. So for now, we're going to choose no. If you take a look at the highlighted line, it shows you what happened when we clicked on enable version control integration. It basically created an empty Git repository in that path where our project resides. If we go back to local changes, we can see all the unversioned files, which means that these are files that have not been added to the repository and Git is not tracking them. These files include our main.java class as well as files that the IDE has created to help manage the project as well as make sure that everything is working for our project in the IDE. Now, we don't want to keep track of the files that IntelliJ creates for us. We just want to keep track of the files that we create. So how can we tell Git not to include the files that IntelliJ created for us automatically? We can do this by creating a git ignore file. To create a git ignore file on IntelliJ 2018, we first have to install a .ignore plugin. To install plugins in IntelliJ, you go to file, settings, and then select plugins if it's not already selected. And then you can go to browse repositories and then search for the plugin that you want to install. You must remember, plugins extend the functionality of the IDE. So here, we want to extend the functionality of IntelliJ by adding the plugin to help us create git ignore files. So I'm just going to search for .ignore and then highlight it. If you look at the right side, there's a bit of information on what the plugin is about and then click on install. It gives you a warning and then if you accept, it starts the installation. When it's done, we need to restart IntelliJ. So I'm going to restart it now. Click on restart and then apply. Okay. And then it prompts you to restart it. I'm going to say restart. After it finishes restarting, it shows you a confirmation on the bottom right corner that the plugin you installed was either installed or updated to the latest version. In this case, the .ignore plugin was updated to version 2.62, 
which should be the latest. The git ignore plugin is used to create the .git ignore file which is used by git. So already because I have this plugin, it's picking up that I'm missing a git ignore file in this git project. And it's also prompting me to create the git ignore file here or click on cancel. I'm just going to click on cancel to show you another way to create the git ignore file in case it doesn't pop up with this prompt. After clicking cancel, go and right click on your project, say new and then dot git ignore file. It brings up the git ignore file generators. So as you can see, there are a lot of different types of git ignore files depending on the version control system that you are using. As we are using git, we'll have to select the .git ignore file for git. This is the one highlighted here. If you click on it, it brings up the ignore file generator. So this is basically a list of templates for all the different project types as well as their most ignored or commonly ignored files. So for example, if you were to choose C++, it will show you a template of the most commonly ignored files when you are creating and using C++ projects. Our project is Java, so you can either scroll down the list until you find it, or you can just search using the search bar. So I've just searched for Java. If you select it, it then pops up on the right side, a template of the most commonly ignored Java files when you're using a version control system. So I'm happy with this. I'm just going to create generate. And then it asks me if I want to add this ignore file to git. Definitely. So I'll choose yes. After clicking yes, if we go to local changes and select default, we can see our dot ignore file has been added there and it's green in color, meaning that Git is now tracking it. But if we go to the unversioned files, nothing has changed here. All the files are still there. This is because none of these files or directories are listed in the ignore file. Also, the prompt here is actually asking us if you want to add these unversioned files to the git ignore file. I'm going to cancel and add them manually. So click on cancel and then open our dot ignore file. And then in our ignore file, I'm going to type in dot idea and save. As soon as I save, if you look at the unversion files, you see that all the idea files have been removed. There's still one more file that I need to exclude and this is the .iml. So what I'm going to do is create a new line on the ignore file, put an asterisk, which is like a wildcard. So it takes in everything up to the .iml. So whatever matches that will be removed. Therefore, this version control demo .iml will be removed. All I have to do is save and that file is gone. As you can see, the only unversioned file is our main.java file, which is the one that we want to track. Now that everything is set up correctly, that is, we have our .git ignore file, as well as the only one file that we want to track, the main.java file, we now want to commit. To do our first commit, you just select the two files, right click and choose commit. It will bring up the commit changes model form. In this form, you can fine tune the files that you want to commit. So if I changed my mind and no longer want to commit the main.java, I'll just uh, unselect it there. But since I want to commit, I'll just select it there. And then I have to put in a commit message. The commit message usually is short, but a clear description of what it is that you're committing. In this instance, it is our first commit. So I'm just going to write initial commit. And then if I'm happy with everything, I click on commit. At the bottom there, as usual, we get our confirmation of what has just happened. If we go to the console, we can also see what has just happened. Two files changed 11 sessions, and this was our initial commit. 
if we go to local changes there is nothing to commit because all the files that we are tracking have been committed to our local repository without going to the console you can also view what has just happened in the bottom toolbar for example it shows that two files were committed and the commit message was initial commit just to recap in this video i showed you how to enable version control specifically git and do a commit in intellij version 2018. please note instead of using the gui in intellij you can run the same commands in a terminal you just have to be at the root of the project so for example you just have to be in the location there and then open your terminal and then run the git commands in the next video i'll show you how to connect this local repository to an external repository thank you for watching